Happy Thursday, folks. Um, I really feel like I just need to, uh, somebody commented about this, needing lights. I got plenty of light. Um, what I really need to do is just trim that and cut it. And uh, it's just separating. And then, you know, it's, it's rooted down here. It's just that this stuff up high is keeping it from getting light to crawl. Uh, this is doing good. That's crawling. Actually, I'm probably going to cut that. The main reason I wanted to post today was because I had the uh, the twig catfish and the whiptail catfish on the log at the same time, if you look. But it's cool because they, they look a lot alike. That's the whiptail. If the Bosmanis will get out of the way. And then if you go right over here, that is the fuella or the twig catfish. And you can see the difference. But uh, they look really cool. And there's only one of each in this tank. And uh, it's just kind of neat to see them uh, like that. Just hanging out, just chilling. And uh, plenty of uh, algae there for them to chew on. And if you have uh, a twig catfish, uh, they really want uh, real driftwood. To chew on, um, I don't know why. A lot of the the uh, sucker mouth uh, catfish, it's really ideal for them to have some type of uh, driftwood. It's almost like if you think about, uh, since we're talking about cats and catfish, if you think about a scratching post, it's uh, it's almost that kind of thing, you know, where it just gives them something to to chew on that. It's good for them. It's almost like a chew toy, I guess. The Nano uh, Anubius there is just looking stellar. The roots on this one is looking pretty sweet. It's going going all the way down. And uh, the Java Fern is looking pretty cool there. There's actually a piece of Java Fern under there. There are different types, but I think that's the, was it the Vendor Love? I can't remember. Vendor Love, whatever it is. It's just the type that has a little has that I'm trying to get the glare off from the 33 behind but uh, but yeah I just thought that was just too cool not to post and uh, I don't see the uh, the German Blue Rams in here today but uh, I'm gonna do a little maintenance here around lunch and I'm gonna trim trim that up I'm gonna just cut that down so that uh, the stuff under it can uh, get light and crawl and I think it'll be fine I think it'll crawl right back um, and really no change here uh, everything here is fine um, I've got shrimp everywhere which is really kind of cool it's just like everywhere you look and uh, matter of fact I've even got a dead shrimp you can see it right there that one's actually they're chewing on that one and uh, my guess is it's old age. It's weird. Every now and then you'll see like a really big one bite the farm. And uh, usually it's a big amano. A big amano will swing in and uh, grab it. And then everybody follows it around. It's just kind of brutal. Anyway, rough crowd. But um, appreciate everybody watching. You can see I got all kinds of uh, shrimp, shrimplets, babies all over these leaves. Just moving everywhere. And I uh, saw some really cool, the uh, crystal reds. saw some crystal red babies earlier that were just, looked really neat. But uh, they have cool colors. They're just so tiny. Yeah, I don't see them right now. And it looks like the cherry reds. Uh, the cherry reds really, really like. You see all those guys in the back corner hanging around the water flow but the cherries really like that uh, Christmas moss which is pretty cool there's a lot of babies in there but uh, anyway hey happy Thursday thanks for watching you guys take care and uh, I'm gonna get some lunch and uh, trim up that uh, that baby tear so who knows maybe I'll put that on a salad we'll see later